Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today I'm gonna help you read your poetry better in public. Now I went to a poetry reading last night and I noticed something that I have seen at every poetry reading that I have ever been to. Even some poetry readings I've seen online and it's something that I feel like almost every poet does and I don't know if they were taught this by anybody but whoever taught them this was, is completely wrong so every poet I saw last night for the most part read really well like they were very good very comfortable doing their readings but the one thing that every single one of them seemed to excel at was talking a shit ton before they read their poem. There's something to be said for trying to control a room, trying to get people to be interested in what you're saying or what you're doing. But if you have to talk for 10 minutes to explain to the listeners what your poem is about and then read like a 45 second poem something's wrong there i got home last night and i was trying to think of any poem that i remember were there any lines i remember from any poems and there were a couple lines i remember from poems because i remember somebody repeating the line afterwards like Oh, that was a good line. Da, 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 da. So, like, I remember that line. I don't remember whose fucking poem it was, but I remember that happening. But I remember what every single person went up there and what their poem was about because they spent a ridiculous amount of time prefacing their poetry. What I'm going to say to all of the poets out there is if your preface is better than your poem, maybe your poem's not done. If all your good material is in your preface, then what's the poem for? Like, why does, why would anyone care about your poem if your preamble to the poem has all the best lines in it? I'm not saying that people shouldn't talk at their poetry reading and that they shouldn't like have anything to say in between poems. You know, but I guess in my opinion, people go to a poetry reading. Let's say the reason why people go to poetry readings is to be edified. Okay, Let, let's say that. Let's, they, they want to hear amazing poetry and they, that people want to be changed by people's poetry. Like they want to hear something and just be like, Okay, the in-between shit should probably be entertaining, it, at least a little bit, to break up all of the seriousness, okay? Like, I'm not saying fucking tell jokes, but if you are beating someone over the head with seriousness the whole time, it's gonna be hard for them to think back and say, oh man, do you remember that time I felt, oh, because you felt like that the whole fucking time. When you are taking someone on a journey, there are highs and lows, there are lulls, there are rising action, there's a climax, there's all sorts of stuff. If you just give somebody one speed the whole way, no one is going to remember really anything, which is what my fucking problem is right now. I guess the two things here is your poem better be greater than the introduction you give your poem. Second, you got to change up the emotion of what you're giving people in that setting, okay? There has to be things for people to catalog as different chapters in the evening, okay? It can't all just be 100 miles an hour or in most poetry readings cases, three miles an hour. All right? So if you found this helpful, break them thumbs, okay? Tie barred, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.